hello everyone in the previous video we are creating our form and we are adding the summer note to which is a rich text reader we are adding into our create form so here i am told, uh, telling you that how you can render your uh, child styles into the parent one so you need to create the section for same one so before adding the style sheet i want to add some title right so in the title you can pause this in the second key here so this would be a uh, create post post and uh, this uh, we need to render this into the parent one so before this i'm going to create one more section and i will render them twice at once so here i'm going to create the styles and uh, end this section and in this section i'm going to paste my style sheet All right so this is cdn so i don't need to set its parts it's loading from the internet okay so i need to call this styles and this title into my parent blade so this one is our auth dot blade is parent so now here i'm going to add this for the title so remove this title and type uh, yield here and just to uh, call this title key so it will pull the title from the child theme to add them here and then what's next so here i want to render my style sheets so you need to add this um, yield here and just type uh, style so it will pull all the styles from there and paste them here and render them into the master one so now let's uh, get refresh and i want to show you that uh, how it's rendering the title and yes it's rendering the title and if you press this control plus u so basically now it's containing this summer node so it means that our uh, child uh, CSS are loading into the parent one. So now let's go here and copy this script tag here and let's go down and here I'm going to render my scripts with the help of this uh, uh, not this one I'm going to go to this create one and in the create at the end of this section I want to create one more section here for the scripts this would be for the scripts and then you need to end this section and paste your script here and then we need to call this key into the our master one this one is master so here we need to call the yield and i added this script so our script will be rendered here okay so now what's next so next would be we need to call this uh, summer node to like this and then we need to or we need to add the id of summer node and then we need to call this like this so let me add then id because we already added this uh, uh, let me close this out we already added our text area so this one is our text area so here add the id of summer node and then what's next next we need to initialize this summer node right okay so i'm going to initialize it here after this summer node because we skipped okay so id would be the summer note okay and then you need to call this summer note like this so let me also make sure that i'm calling it properly yes and uh, yes now it's going to work so now let's get refresh and test that is it uh, working and yes it's uh, behaving like uh, this i don't know why it's not to uh, playing it properly so let me uh, open the console for any of the errors if i am having any errors it will display them in the console and yes it's having three have an error so basically it's displaying that uncaught to tooltip is not defined function and uh, ui okay so it's not going to lie so let me go here and i'm going to basically add uh, a summer note i'm not going to add this on the text area maybe it's uh, having due to issue this due to this one right so id is summer note and now let's get refresh and if uh, error will still there so we will fix this in a moment no problem okay hello summer note and it's uh, pretty same I go here and uh, let's remove this out 
no it's not showing the styling so it's pretty same so let me roll back i don't want to display this like this okay so let's fix the issue what's the issue and how to resolve this let's close this one and give it a refresh mm -hmm. okay it will behave like this summer note summer note let's go here and check that tooltip is not defined function okay guys so it's displaying that tooltip is not a defined function so now let's call this out uh, let's set this on the stack overflow okay so the error is there so it's basically having due to jquery ui so we need to add the jquery ui then that's then we are able to add this out so let me go there and we have i think jquery ui cdn so we have jquery cdn but we don't have jquery ui cdn so we need to add this jquery ui so where it is it's a jquery 3.5 so i think jquery is there let me add it and test that is it throwing due to jquery uh, okay guys uh, before this add this file and let's get refresh okay so error are still there so let's go here and find the jquery ui jquery main and then you need to try bootstrap.js tooltip is a part of bootstrap so you include uh, should solve the problem uh, bootstrap 3.5 I solved this problem using strips so npm install no I'm not using this angular here anymore so I solved this problem by moving all my javascript above Tagle. oh I need to add this maybe it's added in the example it's added in the head section so maybe we need to add this in the head section so this will resolve our issue so let's uh, cut this out go to the head section and okay, here save this one and let's get refresh okay errors are still there but uh, the first error is gone undefined reading summer note no it's not reading this summer note so let me fix the issue and then i'm coming back and i will also tell you that what's the issue and uh, why it's happening so i will meet you in the uh, some few moments later okay guys so we are facing this issue that tooltip is not a function and this read properties of null and fail to execute put this right so how to get rid of these error and why these uh, errors are there so let's go here and here this our summer note is initializing first before our dom is ready so that's why we are facing this issue so did you know about uh, ready function so ready function is used for checking that if the dom is ready then it's going to execute the inner code so i'm going to paste my this summer note code into this ready function so how to implement this ready just type document dot ready okay and then boss uh, function closure here and inside this function you need to pass your logic so here i pass this so uh, uh, summer node dot and then initialize the summer so now let's get refresh and this tooltip is going to run and yes our tooltip error is gone and this summer note is appeared right and now the time is to remove this cannot read uh, reading list so this is uh, happening due to this uh, mysmisc.js so pro banner uh, yeah it's happening whenever we are refreshing our web page so we are uh, displaying we are having a pop-up at the top which containing the theme uh, theme some info that it's uh, 24 by 7 available and you can contact on this uh, this website 
so we remove this in the previous video right so now I need to remove this code so then this error will be gone so let's go to your project and here uh, let's search here misc dot js and yes it's located in the uh, yes it's slash author dot js okay and here you need to find the pro banner and yes it's there so this one is pro banner and these else conditions we need to uh, remove this uh, pro banner all things okay let me remove this stuff and uh, then this will also contain a pro banner so let me remove this one and now let's save this one and give it a refresh and check that uh, is it gone or not okay okay and yes it's gone and we can now view this uh, like this in the full screen like this and we can certainly add here something and we can make this uh, bold or you can say that it would be italic and something like this oh not italic it's underline right and fail to execute put cache remember chrome is extension is unsupported no problem i'm not going to take care about this chrome extension okay so he prepared this title category uh, published uh, or not and here we need a file chooser so it's not choosing this file because we need to add this uh, file upload um, proper file where it's initializing this um, file upload but i'm going to remove this one and upload a simple file uh, add a simple file chooser so let's remove this uh, close this uh, js and here i'm going to upload a simple stuff so what i'm going to upload i'm going to load here let me remove this stuff i'm also going to remove this one okay so here i'm going to add a simple input which contain a file uh, chooser and here i'm going to name this uh, image or you can say that it would be a file okay and uh, let's assign this uh, class of form control for make it uh, full responsive okay now let's give it a refresh so there will be a file chooser okay yeah now it looks more pretty than previous one right okay so now the time is to work on this category stuff for now here we don't have any category so you can create uh, your own category crud right where you can create the category edit the category and delete the category as well as so i'm not going to create this uh, crud in the admin side because uh, I want to just explain the logic that how it's going to work so you can do that do this in your own way so I'm going to insert this into the database manually and you can do this with the by creating a category crud so if you are familiar with the crud that how to create the record in the database how to delete and stuff like that right so our database name is CMS and in the category we have only one field let's open the category table and yes we have only name so these will be automatically filled by laravel okay so now i'm going to fill some categories right so i'm going to uh, not going to insert this manually because laravel provide us functionality to implement this out so i'm going to basically uh, i can create the factory and i can also create the seeders as well as so basically factories are used to create the fake data and the seeders are used to seed the data from somewhere else to into our database so i'm going to create a new seeder here so what's the command the command is very simple and laravel all commands are very descriptive so you can if you are going to create a seeder so you need to uh, call make seeder and if you are calling the migration make migration and stuff like that so here we need to call the make seeder and i'm going to create the category seeder so that's why i need to prefix with the category seeder okay hit enter and let's go to the database seeders and this will be added in a minute and yes it's added category seeder and here i'm going to insert uh, three or four types of category Cata 
why my text editor is not highlighting this out so i think i don't have a category model let me confirm no i have models and yes i have category model why it's not to my text editor is not recognizing this out so let me add it manually okay now it's recognizing so here I'm going to call the create method as is doing we are uh, doing this in the controller. So here I'm going to pass the name. So which name I want to pass the electronic. Okay, let's save this one and uh, add this so uh, three time. So here I'm going to add a fashion category and this one contain uh, supports okay so electronic uh, out and support so here how I need to seed these into the database so I'm going to basically call this seeder into the database seeder so you can execute this seeder manually by calling this php artisan uh, db seed and then you need to add a class flag and then specify your uh, class let me uh, turn my PC on the charge okay so here I'm basically I'm uh, I want to see this so I need to add a class flag and then I need to specify the seeder name so